This is why meal prepping is the best thing. Mmm! Mmm! That's actually really good. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today is gonna be a meal prep. So today is a chill day and I'm just gonna be meal prepping and I'm going to film it and make a video out of it. Since you guys loved my last meal prep video, which I will link right here and down below, I thought I would take you on another meal prep journey, but this one is going to be a vegan meal prep. So it's going to include lots of chopping of veggies and grilling and sauteing and bacon. So I'm gonna start doing all that. Got lots of peppers and mushrooms, kale, more peppers, and some cauliflower, sweet potato, and coconut water for me to sip on while I'm cooking. What else do I have in here? Got the garlic because garlic is very important when you're cooking veggies. I have some couscous. Couscous, pinto beans and some coconut oil. I have a lot of meat alternatives in the freezer that I'm going to make at the end of the video, but first I gotta get all this stuff cooked. First, I'm prepping the oven at 350. That sounds good. Then find the biggest cutting board that you have. Boom, all this stuff. Try not to break anything. Grab your knife and be very, very careful because this is very, very sharp. Last step is to get your Netflix set up so you are distracted because this is gonna be taking a long time. Also find an outlet to plug your laptop in because this is gonna die. probably be one of the last steps. For the cauliflower, I'm just going to lay this on a baking sheet, spray it with some olive oil. I'm seasoning it with some salt, pepper, and some chipotle chili pepper, because I like some spice. And then I roast this in the oven for 30 minutes until they're golden brown and soft. gonna spill everything so this is all the kale it's a lot of kale and I'm gonna wash it in batches probably because I don't think it's all gonna fit in here I'm so hungry potatoes are donezo ah they're too they're too hot why did I do that 
Now that the potatoes are done, I'm going to put the kale on the same baking sheet. Holy kale. This stuff bakes really fast. So it's gonna go in the oven for, for like five minutes. Meal prep is done. I usually like to put everything in its own container and then just pull from each one throughout the week and make different dishes so that I'm not eating like rice and veggies every single day. Here are the sweet potatoes, kale, cauliflower, the peppers and mushrooms, and then the couscous, and I just added some chopped up green onion in here to give it some flavor. Typically, I get my carbs from lots of fruits, vegetables, and then sometimes I eat oatmeal and couscous or rice. Then I get all my micros through all the fruit and vegetables. Now that I am eating vegan, I get asked a lot where I get my protein from, and I get a lot of protein from all the vegetables that I eat. And then I also now eat a lot of beans, and then I also eat some meat replacements. Not every single day, but I like to treat myself, so I have some Guardian beefless strips here. I have chicken, meatballs, black bean burgers, and tofu. For healthy fats, I usually eat avocado, peanut butter. I love me some hummus too. I put it on everything. This is the sun-dried tomato flavor. I'm a huge fan of Mediterranean food, so I like the same layout for my food, I guess. So just a little bit of everything in a bowl or on a plate. I don't know, I think it's just fun. I love it. I just made some of this beefless strips from Gardein and I'm going to put that right here. And finally, some hummus. Voila, that is my dinner for tonight. All right, loves, so that is it for my vegan meal prep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe for more, and comment down below some of your favorite things to meal prep. That's all I could come up with right now. I'm so hungry. I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, loves.